Uh, in other news, a bus taking a Texas marching band home from their Disney vacation crashed into a 50 foot ravine near the Florida Alabama border. The driver was the only one who died. However, all passengers on the bus were taken to the hospital as a precaution. The crash happened when the bus began driving on the grassy median. That median ends abruptly when the freeway crosses over a creek. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused the driver to start driving on the median. We'll be looking to find out uh, what witnesses can tell us, what the passengers can tell us, um, whether sleep was involved, fatigue was involved, whether medical. More than 45 passengers were on the bus. Among the injured, five people are listed in serious condition right now, and one is in critical. An investigation in England continues as the poisoning of a former Russian spy and his daughter remains quite the mystery. Yeah, Sergei Skripal and his daughter were found slumped over a bench in Salisbury, poisoned by a nerve agent. It's been more than a week since this happened and still no answers as to why. So far, Russia has denied having anything to do with it, and the European Union has come out and said it will stand by Britain. More answers are expected, though, within the next 24 hours. The polls are open and both candidates voted this morning in a special election in Pennsylvania for a seat in the U.S. House. The seat's vacant after former GOP Congressman Tim Murphy resigned in October following a scandal involving a staffer. The Democratic candidate, Connor Lamb, says he wants to keep the race about where he and his opponent stand on the issues. His opponent, Republican Rick Ciccone, is a state rep who has the backing of the president who stumped for him there last week.